Hey guys, welcome back. Since the Facebook group reached a thousand members and YouTube is about to reach 30,000 subscribers, it's about time for another freebie. So today we're gonna to be making the newest free pattern and it's called the Lani Top. If you'd like to download the pattern for free, there is a link in the description. So let's get started. For materials, you're gonna need half a yard of swimwear fabric. You're gonna need swimwear elastic as well as other sewing supplies like a loop turner and pins. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using both an overlock machine as well as a regular sewing machine. And that's because we're gonna be using a straight stitch later on. If you only have a regular sewing machine, then just use a zigzag stitch wherever I'm using an overlock stitch. The first step is cutting your pattern pieces in your fabric. You're going to cut four pieces total, two in the lining and two in the outer fabric. You're also going to cut two strap pieces and the exact dimensions are included in the pattern. Typically if I'm using quarter inch elastic, I'll make my straps one and a quarter inch wide. And for this top, since it wraps all the way around, I made the straps about 35 inches long. Next, you're going to sew your straps in half lengthwise and then attach elastic. You're also gonna sew around each cut piece, leaving space for where the strap channels are going to be. The placement of the channels is marked in the pattern, so you can just go ahead and copy that over. But if you want to adjust, you can make the strap channels a little closer together to make it more frilly, or you can make four strap channels total and have like a double strap look. So when you go to sew, you're gonna sew all around each piece, stopping around each strap channel. Alternatively, if you don't wanna have to worry about stopping in time, you can just go back and seam rip the strap channels after sewing all around. Now that you're done sewing, we're gonna take everything to the right side. So through one of the strap channels, you're gonna take the bust piece all the way to the right side. Do this with both. Then use a loop turner or a safety pin to turn your straps to the right side. Now we're all done with the overlock machine. So we're just gonna switch over to a regular sewing machine to make a straight stitch. First, you're gonna again mark where you want your strap channels to be, and then using a straight stitch, sew in each channel for both bust pieces. In total, you're gonna be sewing four lines on each bust piece. And I also wanted to mention that the marker that I'm using, it is dissolvable in water and air, so it does come off, and I'll make sure to link one of those in the description. Make sure that when you're sewing this, your raw edges from the openings are tucked in. That way you can make sure that they're stitched down and tucked inside and they don't come out when you string your straps through. So finally, to complete this top, you're going to string your straps through each of the channels you made, and then you're gonna scrunch the top to get your desired look. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to grab the free pattern for the Lani top linked in the description. Thank you again and I will see you again soon.